The Indian Air Force is taking a strategic approach to streamline the MRFA tender process by issuing a more specific and concise request for proposal that will minimize the time required for evaluating proposals and move on fast to the technical evaluation phase. After 36 Rafale order by the Indian Air Force in 2015, the French manufacturer Dassault Aviation received a large number of orders and the Rafale emerged as one of the world's best-selling aircraft. But now the Swedish Saab is expecting the same turnaround of fortunes by clinching the 114 MRFA deal with its upgraded Gripen The French Rafale is considered the frontrunner to win the deal, but a senior Indian Air Force official has said that fresh air staff qualitative requirements have been created for the MRFA, so the conclusion that the Rafale will emerge the winner is not a foregone conclusion. After clearing all development trials, an agreement for the production of the UTAM radar was signed between DRDO's Electronics and Radar Development Establishment Hindustan Aeronautics and Industry Partners. The rollout of the Tejas Mark 1A jets will start from February 2024, that will be equipped with Israeli L-2052 radar, but the units equipped with the UTAM radar will roll out in 2026 starting with the 21st Tejas Mark 1A aircraft. The Brazilian Army Commander General Thomas Miguel paid a strategic visit to Bharat Electronics Limited in Bangalore to explore the Akash surface-to-air missile systems, and this visit follows earlier meetings between top Brazilian Army officials and the chairman of Bharat Electronics Limited and Bharat Dynamics Limited. The Brazilian Army commander witnessed to display of Akash missile by the Indian Army, and the Brazilian Army has expressed a keen interest in the system, which has already received its first export order from Sudan in 2021. The Hyderabad-based firm Green Robotics has unveiled its Indrajal system yesterday, which is the world's first autonomous wide aerial anti-drone system. The company has demonstrated that the artificial intelligence-powered anti-drone system provides 360-degree protection and has the ability to detect and neutralize threats in real time against all classes of drones over an area of 4,000 square kilometers, including low-radar cross-section drones medium and high-altitude long-endurance UAVs. While the government has granted in principle approval for the full-scale engineering development of the regional transport aircraft program, but latest reports indicate that the Indian Air Force is expected to withdraw from the regional transport aircraft program led by the National Aerospace Laboratories. The withdrawal is mainly due to limitations such as the absence of a cargo ramp and restricted military utility. India has kicked off a major military exercise named Trishul along the borders with China and Pakistan, utilizing all frontline assets of the Indian Air Force such as Rafale aircraft, and air defense systems like the S-400 MR SAM and Spider. and this exercises are taking place at a time when India will be hosting the G-20 meet. The Indian Army Specialized Mountain Warfare Units and Paris Special Forces are also doing their own set of training exercises in Ladakh. Oh, my God.